My name is Chaz Christensen. I live in San Francisco, California. I run a, a courier company called TCB Courier. We founded seven years ago. I have a software company because of San Francisco. We provide logistics software for courier companies um, around North America. I'm a professional athlete for Oakley, riding, riding and racing bikes, as well as uh, MASH SF here in San Francisco. And I've been kind of struggling to start a brand based around my, my own artwork for the last couple years, so that's kind of like a side hobby amongst a couple other things. So maybe the fear of not having something to do and having nothing to, like I couldn't imagine waking up and not having something to do with my day. I think a lot of my drive and ambition comes from my upbringing. My mother was very much like, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. I kind of have a big mouth, so I think I get myself into a lot of uh, situations where I get like really excited about a project and I'm like, I can totally do that, we can make this happen, and then you get home that night and you're like, oh, what did I do? Like, And then you don't have a choice, it's just like, you just have to do it. The Mesfits was because I had a big mouth and I was like, you're totally gonna start a band, bro, told a bunch of people, and then I was like, I have to start a band now, like, fuck. <laughs> I have the most, the most fun doing that. I think it's probably one of the highlights of my life right now is like, I'm just up there to like, have a good time and like, stoke people out. And the, the band, they're the musicians and they're the ones that do it, so. That's, an, that's a wonderful analogy. I was dating bikes and then I married bikes and now it's like, okay, well, where do we go from here, you know? I mean, I rode a bike as a kid. When I, I moved to Portland after I kind of graduated from high school, I lost my driver's license because I, Got 22 moving violations in two years. No no accidents, no DUIs, I just sped a lot. So they took away my driver's license and I uh, started riding on my bike to work and like kind of doing that. I saw these messengers and these track bikes and I was like, what is that? And I started racing alley cats like street races and kind of really got drawn in there. And once I moved to San Francisco was really when it started to take off as far as like something a little bigger and a lot more opportunities popped up. I had been racing with MASH and traveling around the world and you know, my only goal with this has ever been to like, travel around the world and see as many different places and I just saw riding bikes and racing bikes as a vehicle to do that because people would people would buy you plane tickets and that was always my thing was like so like this is all if all I have to do is race my bike and like be stoked like you know buy me a plane ticket do it I'm good traveling is kind of one of the big what is like the biggest component of my life I think and far as far as like influencing who I am and like how I perceive the world and I think that's an important thing mainly because it gives perspective like now when I travel I'm a lot more confident and I'm able to just like go somewhere and just like kind of make it happen and I'm okay just not having a plan and a lot of the good part about travel is like if you want to talk about influencing style is it's just like you I'm a lot more comfortable in my own skin when I travel now and a lot just like hey I'm just gonna do me and I know that like me doing me is gonna be great and I'm gonna meet some good people and have some good experiences Traveling so much has kind of taught me that like the best thing you can possibly do is like be as prepared as possible, but don't have a checklist and just kind of go with the flow. So a lot of my art is just kind of translating that into more of like a physical sense and trying to impart that on other people and be like, you know, look, as much as it's cool to be like PMA all day, it's like reality life, you know, life can get you down. So I think a lot of it is just like having these, these things that people can see and feel and hold and like even just look at that's like a reminder that like, you know, just be stoked, like stay stoked. And if you need a little reminder, like here's a little reminder. Yeah, I mean, I, I had always, I've always been like a doodler and things like that, and you know, I used to like write graffiti back when I was in high school, and like kind of eventually stepped away from that, but I've always been inter interested in like art and doodling, and mainly for me just like doodling and like picking up something, whether it be like a piece of paper or an object, and like just drawing on it and being like, oh, that looks cool. You know, it was something at the moment, and then it was like, wow, like, I can get paid for this. It kind of just right place, right time opened up a door as like, this could be something that you could do that's still like, is something you're passionate about and keeps you in like a community and a scene that you're very much into but is not necessarily focused based on like your results or your ability to like train 20 hours a week and like stay fit. I actually look a lot of more what people do, like how Dustin Klein has like taken his passion and like segued it to being this like amazing lifestyle for himself. I look at that more than like, oh Dustin's art, like I'm really trying to emulate Dustin's art, it's more like, well I like Dustin's actions and the way that Dustin has done this.